for ASUCAS.com and in conjunction with Eco Times. I'm very fortunate to be with Sarah Doinfana and Chris Bjorgman. Uh, you're in London for the 60th anniversary concert, so can you tell me some things you've been doing while you've been here? Um, well, we're doing a pre-show for the Swedish airing of the concert. Uh -huh. So we've basically, we met Piazza Miade, who's hosting the show, yeah. and we're going to meet a bunch of artists um, today and interview them and, okay. and get into some mischief. And uh, Okay, yeah, yeah I'm going to come back to you on that one in a moment. Krista, uh, SVT heavily involved in the 60th anniversary concert. How did that come about, and what's your role in this? Uh, well, we're not that involved really in, in the show because we do our own little thing which yeah. is going to be aired half an hour before the show. Okay. Uh, so the only involvement really is uh, Petra who is co-hosting yeah. and uh, Edward yeah. of Cillian and Donnie Rian who are writing the script yeah. for, for them. But it's exciting for me as uh, one of the only TV companies that's doing a special show actually in London. I think that's really a good commitment from SVT. So. Well, that's as you know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we, okay. we totally embrace this competition. <laughs> Just touching on Eurovision coming up in May, are you excited about Mons? Totally. Yes. Totally, totally. Uh, we're very much looking forward to it and we're hoping for a really good result. Okay, cool. I understand there's a distant cousin of yours in London as well at the moment, a certain Linda Woodruff. Can you tell me what's happening? Have you met her today? A apparently she's a distant cousin. Is she? No, she's, she's just a, someone I used to know. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I haven't met her today. She, uh, I she's, heard you were at school together, right? Uh, no, uh, she hasn't arrived yet, but okay. she'll, she'll uh, hopefully make her way here tomorrow. Do you, do you know what she's doing? Uh, well, she's a red carpet reporter. Oh, okay. For uh, uh, our uh, airing of this show. Yeah. Okay. So she'll be interviewing the artists uh, okay. on the red carpet tomorrow. Okay. But talking about schooling, I think actually she was in the same school as Graham Norton. Really? That's the okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Well, that's quite exciting. I think I think we need to ask Graham all about that a bit yeah. later on. So, <laughs> so uh, any other plans while you're in London? Are you here for very long? Uh, I've been here for a few days. Um, we're staying on for a few days. Well, the sort of original uh, plan is to work, and then once that's done, there are great shows in the West End okay. to see. And anyone uh, in particular going to see? Well, I I just saw Billy Elliot for okay. the Good fifth show. time. Good show. I love that show. Good show. And the Book of Mormon and okay. great shows. Yeah. Same plans for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Billy Elliot, Book of Mormons. Yeah. And also, I saw play a night with Reg. So great so, play. so no hard night clubbing for you then this time, Krista. No, no, no. <laughs> Being very, very, very strict and formal, and just. Uh... I thought you were going to say I'll be very straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that really that kind of. Way. Well, we're hoping we haven't heard anything, but we're hoping there'll be like a good after party tomorrow. We hope for that. And as and, well, and if actually. there's no after party, we said we, we create. We'll we create. make one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we yeah. make our own. Actually you can all come back to ours. Yeah. You know, we're South London, there's a there's a flat there, there's a garden, <laughs> and we'll have a barbie or something. Yeah, the weather's good tomorrow, good. right? So just touching on Eurovision, you've been in Melody Festival on a few times. Any plans on doing it again? And how was performing in the show in Malmo? Very well, important to answer this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, she always, has to lie. I always <laughs> said that, uh, you know, getting there without having to compete, I mean, getting yeah. to sing, which is, of course, you know, a thanks to, to, to the producer of the, of the program, yeah. was uh, quite a, a huge honor for me. Yeah. I'm not very good at the competing part, okay. although I've been writing a lot of more music, so I would definitely like to come back and write for a, a, okay. maybe a new young female singer okay. uh, or uh, something like that. Uh, um, I don't know, it would take a, a, a fucking a lot of alcohol or something for me to... No, but I mean, we it, edit it's, that, uh, we edit that yeah. No, it, it, yeah. I, I, I would of course love to, but I think we're looking at Mons who won this year, looking at Salma as well, yeah. they're both still very young. Mm -hmm. um, they've been doing it for a long time, but they, you know, they weren't even in their 30s yeah. uh, when they both finally won. But you're won. still only in your 20s. No, darling. I'm come so on. not. Oh, come on. Uh, no, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a scary, it's a daunting thing. You don't want to come back and do something that's not as good as what you've done. And uh -huh. and people still love uh, moving on and I remember love. So I don't know if I have the stamina. Just we'll finishing see. just finishing on that note. If he we, gets what he wants. Well, just finishing on that note, I do have some Eurovision friends that... I, that, that are not really avid fans and they were watching the show when it was on in Malmo mm. and actually several of them turned around and said that actually you were the best person in the show the whole time the best yeah, song and the best vocal so Krista bring her back I'm trying yeah okay. I'm trying every year um, okay if you, if you don't take her we'll take her for the UK as, oh, as, oh, as, as her distant cousin yeah. seriously you should well I am half British well I hope the BBC are listening now did you hear that first half British Sarah Dawn half Finer. British 
which half? This half. The, the best half. <laughs> <laughs> the best half of me is British. <laughs> Listen, guys, thank you very much. Good luck with everything. And wish good luck to your cousin on the red carpet tomorrow night. We're really looking forward to that, actually. So that would be thank great. You. Thanks very much. Thank you.